Hi, I'm Connie Whitlock. And I'm Rick Kinsler. And we are Honey and Wine. That's right. And you can check us out at honeyandwinemusic.com. Uh, we have a Patreon and we have Facebook and yeah. uh, lots of things. All over. So we are songwriters and country songwriters. And we, we songwrite about a lot of other things too, but we're mostly country music, right? So yeah. we decided to do a country music commentary. Right. That's right. We're going to do a series. Check us out a couple times a week, and we will give you the lowdown on what's what's new, hip, and going in country music. Yep. Right? So let's get started. Yeah, first one up, L. King. For all you L. King fans out there, mm -hmm. uh, L. had a, uh, she's just gotten back into action after having a big fall at her home back in early December. Got up in the middle of the night to get the baby a bottle and took a tumble down the stairs, knocked her out. I fell down the stairs. Yeah, that's right. You did. Yeah. Just recently. Didn't too. you know that? Yeah, not too long ago. <laughs> yeah. I think you you uh, remember me groaning and moaning yes. every day, going ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I went downstairs to let the dog out, and the and the doorknob was frozen because it was negative twenty seven yeah. wind chill out. I mean, it was horrible. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. Everybody was cold. Yeah. So <laughs> I wasn't alone. But I went downstairs with a blanket around me, so I was not holding on to the railing, right. and my feet flew from under me and down I went. Boom, boom, right on my tailbone. It was yeah. horrible. So, so she, she no singing for a while. So L got it in the head. You you yeah. got it the other I got it, head. yeah, let's not even get there. <laughs> and they can't do anything about a tailbone. You just have to suffer through it That's for a few right. weeks. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but, so with L she had to cancel shows in Tampa, mm -hmm. Detroit, Seattle. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's, she said, you know, we love to perform. So she had said, well, I was going to tough through it, but her body. You don't said, tough no, through that. You, you just don't tough through, through that. that. Yeah. And so she ended up having to cancel those shows, but got back up and going and did some things with Jimmy Allen for the New Year's. And she is back out and going on strong. So the baby's fine. She's fine. Everybody's fine. So awesome. That's good well, that's good to story. hear. Yeah. yeah. Let's not fall down the stairs anymore. Yeah. You know? Hold on to those railings, especially yeah. in the wee hours of the morning. Absolutely. Oh. The country music community is rallying around the Buffalo Bills' DeMar Hamlin after he suffered the cardiac um, arrest on the field during the, the, the first quarter. That happened at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Yeah. That, was, that kind uh, of ruined the rest of the... Yeah, it ruined things. Very, very, right? very somber. And yeah, I've had the dubious, you know distinction of being around somebody immediately after an accident with severe and yeah that it'll wreck your day for sure <laughs> it, it, uh, well i think it wrecked more than one day for him he's well, probably I'm still not talk, awesome. i'm not talking about him i'm talking about the person the people around mm. that you know people talk about yeah that if, if if you're in the vicinity of a serious accident you got to help somebody or even if you have to sit and bystand man it does yeah. stuff to you but how is he doing now he's Doing real well. I got to go home. Yeah, well, and, uh, and all these country artists are coming out yeah. in support of him. Yeah, Bobby Bones, radio personality and country music. Uh, Mitchell Tenpenny, performer. Mickey Guyton, performer. And uh, then Clay Walker is, is the one that brought up, hey, you know what? We probably need to pray for the people, other people involved. And yeah. He's absolutely yeah. right. Well, uh, and I know the guy that hit him, it wasn't with his head. It was with his shoulder. Regular, You know, it was like... Something that doesn't happen very often. Somewhere you get hit, dur you know, during your heart rate. Yeah. I don't know. Somewhere during. Yeah. It, I mean, it was like. Yeah. Yeah. Fluke. Higgins. Total fluke, right? Higgins, Higgins, the guy that hit him, came out and and said that yeah, with all this prayers and people reaching out to him, he said it's really helped him to 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 become whole and not you know he was really hmm. struggling with things and. That's okay. awesome. Really it, it is amazing. And so, anyway, so... And then you have a point. I know this, you're the one that the other night <laughs> talked about, you saw this. So, so talk, talk okay, about Okay, so this, in a recent video. interview, okay, with Rolling Stone Country, Carrie Underwood talked about her disdain for popular singers who can't replicate their hits on stage. So, I love to sing, she says, and I've always taken pride in the work I put in on my vocals. I do want to sound good. And that's just what she said, okay? Growing up and going to concerts or seeing my favorite artists on TV, if they didn't sound like they were supposed to sound, it was always deflating. I'd lose respect for them. Or when I'd go to a concert and hear them drop keys, I was like, 
you can't hit the notes? She continued, why do you record them if you can't sing them? That stuff is important to me. And now I read this and at first I didn't know what to do with it. I mean, I, I'm like, that's quite a statement for a singer when there's millions of other singers in the world, right? And everybody is different. And, and maybe she had a point uh, to make that is in there somewhere and we're maybe taking it wrong or, or, and maybe there's a point, a little point in there. Yeah. You want people to be practiced up. You don't want them to be lazy. Yeah. You want them to be able to sing, but you know, sometimes people have other kinds of giftings and they can sing. I mean, I don't know how people dance and sing at the same time. <laughs> I, 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 I don't expect you to sing perfectly and dance. I, I just don't. Right. <laughs> I don't, but you know, if you have a cold, if you're older, what if you recorded the song 20 years ago? And we were talking about that yeah. too. So I, I think that when you say those kinds of things to all of a sudden, everybody's looking, looking at you and seeing if you're going to make a mistake. Yeah. You know, now everybody's going to be watching Carrie Underwood for that drop note and, and then starting to point. This is why I wouldn't make comments like this. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. Just keep it to yourself. But I get it. You don't. You want to go to a concert and you want people well, to be able to do what they do. That's what know? we don't. That's what we don't know from that article. Like, you know, how bad was it? Because you know, we were just talking about the uh, concussion or the concussion. The uh, we were just talking about the uh, cardiac arrest with Demar Hamlin and thing. Well, in the NFL, there's guys that they were great players, but they stayed too long. And and people mm -hmm. ask, well, how long is too long? Well, when you're distracting, when you're not, you know, <laughs> when you're losing games and things like that. So it's easy to tell there because you're losing games because you're really bad. You're not what you were, once were. But, but I actually went, went to a professional, professional concert, concert and, and, and he had to stop the band because he made a, such a bad, was making such a bad mistake. He's like, we're but, he, over. but you know what the key is? He played it off like it was, you know, a, and then when he came back and did it, not only did he do it, but he added some like bonus stuff in there that was like, you wow, know, that's cool. And I think that that's, that's cool. When an artist can make a mistake and just yeah. laugh it off or make it a part of creatively on the fly. Um, at one time I was singing a song in a coffee house and I was in the middle of the song. I swear I've sang this song a hundred million times, right? Well, maybe not a hundred million times, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm in the middle of the song. It's gone. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's gone. I mean, I don't have any music in front of me and everything's by memory. So it's gone. Yeah. And so I just stared at the audience. It's a full room, you know, and just look back and look around I'm like, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. It decided to go somewhere else. So we'll just go to the next song. And they laughed and they thought it was part, part, of, the of, the, part of the thing. I didn't know what to yeah. do. Yeah. Um, I had been singing for a few years already. So I'm just like, you know, and you it is to, what it is. You know, <laughs> It's gone. It went somewhere else. And you used to do interviews on radio. So, you know, from a DJ's perspective, yeah. DJ is the same thing. Or I, I get on some morning. I'm sorry, we don't have a cough button here. Yeah. And where I'm going to get on some mornings, I'm, I'm, I've got it all lined out. This is what I'm going to say. And I hit it, and it's not there. It's like, where'd it's it go? Gone. It's so gone. It's gone. So you just go to something else, right. so, and you move on. I don't know. I I, I think that I, I wish you wouldn't have said that. But, you know, yeah. now we're all going to be looking at Carrie going, well, hmm, I'm going to make a mistake. Don't miss. <laughs> don't don't miss. miss. <laughs> <laughs> so our next segment is called If the Shoe Fits. And so <laughs> yes. with every episode, you will get a match to a current event and a country song. So uh, the big current event today, it's Tuesday. So there's there's a book that's dropping by Prince Harry. Um, where are you going? He's going to drop. He's going to drop. Now you have to go put it on. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, so um, with all of the woes of Harry, <laughs> And we won't go into it, but we, yeah, you, you should know the story. He, he's complaining about his family. He's left. And, um, if we had the crying baby sounder, we'd play it. Exactly. Exactly. And I, yeah, at, at this point we've heard what he's had to say. 
uh, from the Oprah show and from other things. And, but it just keeps on coming and keeps on coming. So, you know, the first year we probably wouldn't have given them a country song, but you know, now it's been, <laughs> I don't know how long you, you get a country song, Harry. So this is it. This is it. What is it? It is Taylor Swift's mean. Yes. Why you gotta be so mean? Why do you gotta be so mean? <laughs> exactly. So go take a listen to it and, and think of Harry and, and you'll see, you'll see what we're talking about. So yep. mean match the culture uh, that, shoe with, fits. that shoe fits. That's right. Yes. So next up, let's see what we got here. Oh Number yeah, one. we're gonna raise our glass Hard and that's just something you wanted to do. Yeah, I thought it was cool. I mean, raise our glass. You know, there's so much negativity in the world. There's so much you can get on, whether it's Facebook, social media, and everybody will tell you, oh, this terrible thing happened. There was this negative thing happened. You don't see enough, I don't think, of the, man, this great thing happened. And and so we got this thing. I got my cup. We didn't bring our glasses. I know. We need to get our we glasses. We need to get our glasses. We forgot our glasses. Well, I'll raise glasses. my cup. We'll raise, we'll, we're going to raise my cup. <laughs> anyway, we raise a glass my to... Tea. Uh, the, the to Demar Hamlin and that whole story because mm. I'm praying for you. The guy was yeah, I mean he was cardiac arrest. They mm -hmm. they were talking about the percentages of people that don't come back from that. But uh, well, look at all the people that he got to pray. Yeah, yes. And so there's the other <laughs> positive. Is, yeah, they were he praying. More, he he did better than a probably a pastor on a Sunday morning. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> and it was funny, suddenly people didn't care that people were praying. That's, you know, where right. I, whereas they didn't care about the game, they didn't care about the score, they didn't care yeah. about winning, they just cared about praying. So, well, DeMar Hamlin, DeMar. he's a great guy, and, and he's doing really, really well. So, that's definitely right. something to, and, and not just raise the glass to him, but to the response, how everybody is rallied around him. Yeah. That's just really neat. So. Well, I hope you enjoyed our first podcast, our first video podcast, YouTube show. Um, we are excited about doing commentary on country music and giving you the latest news, uh, some fun. And uh, eventually at the bottom, we'll put some links to our music and some, um, other, some other things that we're doing. Uh, you're, you're a DJ yep. uh, in nice. Butler, right? We're musicians, Honey and Wine. Check us out at honeyandwinemusic.com. Uh, we also have a Patreon. So if you want to start supporting what we do, uh, we're at what patreon.com at or the slash honey and wine, wine music. music. Yeah, something like that. So thanks for joining us. And we plan to do this for a couple couple times a week, hopefully, and see where it goes. Thanks for following us. Oh, remember to subscribe and, and like. like. Yes. Yes. See ya. <laughs>